हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज हियर एक्चुअली इन हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज किडनीज आर कंप्लीटली नॉर्मल बट हियर द प्रॉब्लम इज इन द लिवर इन हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज किडनीज आर कंप्लीटली नॉर्मल बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इन द लिवर इन हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज सो हेपाटोरिनल डिजीज इज एक्चुअली ए स्टेट ऑफ फंक्शनल रिनल फेलियर दैट इज हियर वी सी a reduced glomerular filtration rate is seen without any renal failure here there is functional renal failure that means there is reduced glomerular filtration rate is seen without any renal pathology in patients with severe liver disease the patient's kidney is completely normal there is liver disease because of this liver disease there is reduced glomerular filtration rate why is there reduced glomerular filtration rate due to liver disease due to liver disease one thing is in acute liver disease there is hypoalbuminemia due to hypoalbuminemia the uh, in the blood there is less osmotic pressure now because there is less osmotic pressure in the blood all the uh, fluid in the blood starts to leak out okay and as a result there is third space accumulations are seen in the liver disease like ascites will be seen okay so whenever there is ascites and all these the uh, blood volume will decrease overall because there is volume is going and occupying the third spaces like ascites pleural effusion in all those cases the blood volume will actually decrease now because of this decreased blood volume whenever there is decreased blood volume this will cause a low cardiac output and because of this there is high renal plasma renin is seen this is one of the predictor for development of hepatorenal syndrome how because there is low blood volume now whenever there is low blood volume the blood renal blood flow is also less if there is renal blood flow is less obviously the glomerular filtration rate is also less so overall the kidney is normal the kidney has the capacity to filter more and more urine also but still because of less blood flow itself to the kidney there is less glomerular filtration rate so this is seen in hepatorenal syndrome this hepatorenal syndrome occurs in uh, about 10% of patients with advanced cirrhosis and acute liver failure in advanced cirrhosis and acute liver failure you see this hepatorenal syndrome then pathophysiology of hepatorenal syndrome okay in hepatorenal syndrome first in pathophysiology it is actually multifactorial first and foremost here there is increased renal vascular resistance first there is two things one there is increased renal vascular resistance is present along with reduced systemic vascular resistance so because of increased renal vascular resistance and reduced systemic vascular resistance will lead to the disturbances in arterial circulation because of this disturbance in arterial renal circulation this will result in vasoconstriction renal vasoconstriction will be there this renal vasoconstriction is not due to one reason but due to multifactorial and it is not clearly understood but structurally if you see structurally and on biopsy and on histology the kidneys are found to be completely normal on structurally and histologically the kidneys are completely normal and these kidneys will also recover after the liver transplantation so we can say that here there is intense renal vasoconstriction is seen with coexistent vasodilatation so in hepatorenal syndrome because of the because here there is uh, um 
less amount of sodium is seen urine sodium is very less because there is decreased gfr because of decreased gfr urine sodium is less than 10 milli equivalent per liter with hyperosmolar urine is seen and there is oliguria that is urine loss is less than 400 ml per hour and we also have fractional excretion of sodium is less than 1 and urine creatinine is to plasma creatinine ratio is found to be more than uh, 30 is to 1. So, these are the futures. In the urine, urine in hepaturenal syndrome, the urine sodium is less than 10 milli equivalent per liter. There is hyperosmolar urine is seen with oliguria less than 400 milliliters per 24 hours. There is fractional excretion of sodium is less than 1. Urine creatinine to plasma creatinine ratio is found to be more than 30 is to 1. Thank you and thank you for watching.